Hey everyone, DQ here, and welcome to another episode of Minecraft Let's Build an Adventure Map. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you some of the things I've been working on, on in this map. And as, as you can tell right away, I've added some really large buildings in this town here. Uh, let's turn mobs off. So, originally this town was Broville, but I didn't like the way the style of the um, houses, the large buildings or anything were. So I'm keeping some parts of Broville in behind. Uh, let's just turn this down to short because it's lagging on me. And let's make it daytime. Uh, well that doesn't help at all. Okay. Put it back to normal. So I'm keeping some aspects of this town of Broville. I'm keeping some of these kind of buildings here. I'm keeping this mansion over here on the hill. I'm keeping the hospital. The hospital is complete as well for inside through the texture pack. So if you're kind of wondering why there's sponge and green wool everywhere, those are the road lines in the texture pack that will be going alongside of this map. Um, so what I've done is I've gotten permission from the um, people who make the uh, green field. I don't know if you guys have heard of that uh, map, but I asked permission for them. So they'll be credited into this map too. So I've used some of the buildings in this map, as you can tell. So I have to redo the roads around these really tall buildings, put stuff in the chests and whatnot. Over here, I've added some more land and I've added this really nice inlet bay sort of area. So as you can see, there's this whole area. So I'm going to be putting some roads in, putting a lot, a lot more buildings. I'm going to put a bridge right here. And it's going to really make this city more realistic because um, this series is based off The Walking Dead on the AMC channel. And you basically came out of the city of Atlanta, which had fairly tall buildings, bridges and various things. So I'm going to make this look and feel more like that town um, world. Uh, sorry for the lag here, it's just sort of generating chunks. Not really generating, but I've changed the brush size and world edit to make the mountains look a little bit more natural as you can tell. They look a lot better now. And I've extended the ocean quite far out so when you're on normal distance like I am, you don't see the edge of the ocean whatsoever. So I'm going to be showing you guys what I've been working on redstone wise. Alright, this lag is terrible. And it's probably a bit more lag because I am recording in full screen instead of windowed mode in Minecraft. So I'm just trying to see what the quality issues are because a lot of people are saying even at 1080p the quality isn't the best. Um, and there's no lag down here because I just put it back in windowed mode. So let's put the render distance at normal again on windowed mode. So this is some of the stuff I'm going to be working on to make this work. Now this map will uh, be pretty much, I think, released when 1.3 Minecraft rolls around rolls out. So right here I'm going to be showing you guys how you'll find like because of 1.3 uh, Minecraft it's going to have books and I want to have books as like guidebooks or like what's happening for the notes or whatever everything's going to be in books there won't be any signs it'll be much easier to run. So what I'm planning to do here is making contraption out of redstone and it looks like okay looks like this so we gotta put out nope a piston like that and we take this uh chest in mine cart remove this and I'll take a bookshelf and put it right there now what's cool about this is when I put a torch up here 
it pushes the bookshelf into the chest. It makes like this glitch. So as you can see, it's now in the chest. Uh, let's turn off the rain. So when I do this, now push the minecart through, you think, well, this is like a normal bookshelf. There's nothing else here. And that's where you're wrong. Inside of this bookshelf, when you right click like this, or when you right click, uh, when you right click the bookshelf, you'll actually it'll say minecart, but you can put whatever you want in this bookshelf. And so this is how you'll be able to interact with the books. So let me just. Sometimes it works and doesn't glitch out like this. Other times it does. But this is basically how you will um, get the books out. Like you'll have a sign that says. Um, like read note one. It'll say that. You right click the bookshelf for the book number one and that will be how you use the map. So what I've done here, as you can tell, I've extended the mountain, but it won't matter because you don't see the side. All you see is the better side. So I've been working on much better mountains. They don't look so blocky or tall. They look a lot more natural. As you can tell, that looks a lot more natural than this steep wall. So let's do speed four. And I can fly across the city just like this. And once again, I've extended the outside of the city map just like this using this same world edit brush tool but making it a lot look a lot more natural same thing with over here I've done this side I've smoothed out the land I've smoothed it out right down to the normal layer on this flat map world so it looks really a lot more natural Same thing here, I added a waterfall. I've extended the land out. Just like this, smoothed it all out, and it looks a lot better. So that's gonna be it for this video. If you enjoyed watching Let's Build an Adventure Map, uh, press the like button down below, and remember to subscribe. Uh, if you have any questions about the map, leave a comment down below, and, and thanks for watching, bye-bye.